Hi guys, I'm Lauren from Diverse Learning Hub and I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks that you guys can use to help calm your students in the classroom. So the first one is called butterfly tapping. So what you can do is just have your kids cross their arms like this and tap side to side. They can think of a collar or a place that calms them and what this does is it causes the brain to communicate with itself and it actually helps regulate their systems. So cross their arms, think of something pleasant, close their eyes and tap, and that should help regulate their systems and calm down. The second calming strategy is some social stories. So this is actually like a preventative strategy that you can use every single day, reading social stories with your students, with your children about what to do if they're kind of getting overstimulated, if they're kind of getting overwhelmed, if they need to calm down. And if you read these social stories with them, it helps them understand kind of what they need to do in these certain situations, what they need to do when their body is feeling like stressed and when they're feeling overwhelmed. And then they'll know exactly what they need, how they need to respond. Maybe they need to uh, give a break card to the teacher um, and ask for a little bit of a break and, and learn to self-advocate. Maybe they need to take a walk chill out in the corner of the classroom, just take some time. So these social stories will help them understand what they need to do in these moments when they're feeling really overwhelmed. D Diverse Learning Hub, uh, my platform that I created, actually has tons of animated social stories and social story songs that can help your students understand what to do when they're feeling overwhelmed and when they need to calm down. And so this, these are great because the kids love these videos. I've tested them with a lot of students with autism and other special needs and they respond super well to these and they actually are a lot more engaged I've found than just like a paper social story. Um, so these are, yeah, like interactive animated videos with quizzes at the end and activities that they can do, um, print out activities that they can do based on the animated social story. So check that out for some engaging social story content. There's like a free trial and, and you can see how your child or student responds to it. My third calming strategy is really to identify the root cause of why your child is feeling anxious or overwhelmed and try to get at that root issue. Are they seeking more attention? Are they upset because they don't have all the tools they need to succeed on an assignment? Try to figure out the root cause of why they're feeling this way, why they're feeling overwhelmed. And in other videos, we'll kind of talk about how you can figure out that root cause. So stay tuned and subscribe for more videos on that. I hope you enjoyed those tips. And if you'd like some more animated social stories, social story songs, um, activities and quizzes, go to diverselearninghub.com, the link's below. And um, let me know what you think and if, if your child or student responds well to them.